Okay, so our next step is getting this guy into a board. Adjust up here a little bit. Okay, so this is basically just a raccoon board. There's not real good, uh, you know, definitions of what a nutria board should be, but um, this is pretty close. So, anyway, uh, the very first thing we're going to do is uh, pin right through the top of the nose into the top of the board and then just pull her down tight. These two front legs get cut off because you want uh, your belly to be straight. So the very first pin, go, I center it up. I'll come down right in the middle and put one pin. I'm not stretching real hard here, just enough to get it good and square on the board. And then bring it in on both sides. And what we're looking for here, you sometimes you kind of have to adjust this a little bit, is just trying to get this in more or less a straight line across here. And what we'll do on the next part up here on the front is we're going to repair the one bite mark that's in here. Like I said earlier, you could sew these, I suppose, if you wanted to. I just, I wouldn't waste the time. So we got one bite mark. You know, what I'll do is poke through on both sides, depending on how big it is. This is just a single one. And then I pull out. I don't actually put that into my board um, and just leave it like that. And then tomorrow, oh, there you go. Um, I'll pull that out so it'll basically look flat. Okay, around on the back, uh, you put in your belly board, which for whatever reason you put it on the back on these, not on the belly, and then you set the tail first. It's kind of like doing a muskrat, except you you want to keep everything real square on the on the skirts. I usually put just two tacks there in my tail and get it straight. Got another bite mark here. Before I get to pulling on it, I'm going to do the same thing here. Square that one up. Okay, then coming down on the, the back part of the legs, on both sides. I'm going to pin these down. And then I put two more on each side. Getting all my fur kind of going downhill. Same kind of idea here in the back. You want this as straight as you can. When they get measured, they'll end up getting measured right to the whatever the lowest point is. If you have any little chunks you miss, just pull those off. Okay, so last little step. These are coming in on the mouth. And I'm going to square my nose up here just a little bit. Okay. Come right under the chin and cut all those lips off. They got a ton of them. And they dry really quick except for the lips. So you want to make sure you get as much of that lip material out of there as you can. Okay. And then I usually pull some of the gum tissue off too. And that will help them just dry quicker. These only take about a week at the most, actually three or four days if you got a uh, little bit warmer drying room. But anyway, that's basically ready to go. Um, get it in there, get dried, and it'll be ready for the next one.